Hey, look, we have friends. I mean, Melissa. Yeah, look, he's got a mohawk. Yeah, show, show these ducks. That, du that duck that? seriously has a mohawk. So why is he coming over? Uh, to us? They think we have food. What is going? We're right next. <laughs> <laughs> They're not scared. What do you think? Should I stand in the middle? Yeah, stand in the middle. Okay. Yeah, we can't say what's going to happen to you. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, uh oh. What could happen? No promises. Yeah. Oh no my God! I, well, I've seen some interviews before, <laughs> so I know there may be some bodily fluids or something. Uh, who, who knows? Uh, well, thank you for taking the time to uh, chat with me here. Okay. Wow. Off to a great start here. Um, oh, we started. <laughs> can we yeah. say fuckliness? Sure, you can okay, say whatever yeah. you want. We, I mean, you already did. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> uh, great to see you guys. All right. It's good to be seen. Yeah. Well, the, 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 you guys look like usually you, you start an interview by like introducing the people you're no, going to interview or no, talk to, but no. you just jumped right into it yeah. and. Um, yeah. Look, he's got yeah. his name right here, so everybody knows what it is. It's true. Yeah. That's what it's, we know. It's here too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the, the thing is, if, if you start off the interview by being like, hey, it's Chris Van Vliet here at Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum, Chris Deerfield what? Beach. What's your name? Chris Van Vliet? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <Dumbest name ever. laughs> see, if I were to start the interview like that, then it, then you guys like get all tense. Like if, if we just start the Have interview. Have you ever seen me tense? <laughs> well, please. This is, this is a good point. Never tense. Yeah, let me know. No. Just, just hundreds. <laughs> get it? Oh, wow. Yeah. If, he didn't get it. With the interview. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if real men wear skirts and you're not wearing skirts today, what are you then? Oh no, we are we wearing, are wearing skirts. skirts. Just right this now, we're this... wearing we're wearing Scooby <laughs> right. and Stewie. Why? Do you want to blow Stewie's blow Stewie nose? nose? <laughs> if you want to blow Stewie's nose, hey, look, I'm, I don't I'm, judge. Yeah, it's a free world. Okay. I, I yep. agree. You can do whatever you want. Sure. It's all fine. I I don't think I'll be doing that, but I appreciate that okay. you're throwing that out there. Hey, the yeah. offer is on the table. <laughs> Put a wig on you and call you Marissa. Hey, look, we have friends. I mean, Marissa. Yeah, look, he's got a mohawk. Yeah, show, show these ducks. That, du that duck seriously has a mohawk. So why is he coming over? I, they, to us? they think we have food. What is going? We're right next. <laughs> <laughs> They're not scared. We're right he's next a to a, a lake, awesome. by the way. Yeah. Jeez. It's a lake. You might you might want to uh, mind your p's and q's because yeah. you might go swimming. Oh, jeez! Like an old wow. Okay. So anyway, right. uh, yeah. Anyway, back to this. Um, this is riveting. <laughs> <laughs> people love this stuff. Let me tell you. Uh, was it what? Was it two and a half ish years ago that we saw you guys back in WWE? Yes. Yes, that was August of 2016, August 31st to be exact. Who made the call to bring you guys back? Um, Road Dog. I actually got a text from Road Dog. And I actually thought it was a joke, like somebody just it was a joke text. And um, <laughs> so it came from him. And then I actually called it back and I'm like, Brian, I needed to confirm it was him. Um, so it was him. It was Road Dog. And did he say, like, we just need you for, you know, one stint or did well, what, what it was were... actually it was actually supposed to be the week before um, up in Connecticut at the casino, whatever that casino is. But because we weren't full time, we had to get blood work and everything done. And there wasn't enough time to get the blood work done. So he said, you know, we can't do it now, so we're going to try for next week. We're hoping we can hold the storyline open, we hope. And I just went, well, thanks for thinking of us because it's probably not going to happen. Sure. And then literally that next Friday, the Friday before we were on, he called me and he said, nope, we're on. He goes, travel will be contacting you in the next 10 minutes, wow. and we will see you guys Tuesday night in Dallas. Wow. Yeah. Did, did you guys think that at any point WWE would be calling you back and you'd be <laughs> making a return? Absolutely not. I mean, after, what was it, 15, 16 years of uh, being in a WWE E ring, um, you gotta watch. I don't say F. So uh, yeah, it was a shocker. I, I never thought it was gonna happen. I mean, I, I wasn't. I, put my hands in pockets. In, I know we don't have any. I wasn't in the the, the best, uh, I guess, shape, you know, years before. So it's only been recently, last probably eight years. So uh, no, it was do it two and a half years ago. It was it was shocking. Oh, okay. It was shocking. Because they, they probably remember. We will make fun of each other in yeah. this interview. So great, right, great. Right. Yeah. But look at the shape you guys are in now. It's it's yes. like you know you haven't skipped a beat. Absolutely not. Better shape now than before. Really? Yes. I, I, was there some bad blood there with WWE? I feel like there was. They took some low blows, some shots at you guys. I feel like. Um, you know what? Any news is good news. Any publicity is good publicity. Anytime your name's mentioned, you, you reinvent you. It makes people remember you. So I don't have any bad blood that I know about. It just is what it is. I don't sure, know. There's, there's no I explanation mean, for it. WWE's home for us. I mean, that's the only federation that we ever worked for. Yeah. You know, the, the big federations. We never went to WCW. We never went to ECW. WWE is, is home. So, I mean, we never, we never went to TNA. We never even tried to go anywhere else because, I mean, you know, 
from day one, it's always been where we've always been. So The thing I love about you guys is you are like a true tag team in every sense of the word. And the fact that like you guys trained together growing up and then you formed as a tag team when you broke onto the scene. That does not happen anymore at all. No, this um, June will be 26 years. Wow. This is my longest relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Mine also. This is <laughs> Why is that now that, that they basically go, hey, you're not doing anything and you're also not doing anything, you're a tag there's team a, now? Well, contracts is money. Yeah. yeah. Because that's what Vince wants. So now what, what, what happens with, up with WWE trickles down. So everyone knows on the independent scene that, hey, w, WWE just takes two guys and throws them together. So why try to do what we did and start a tag team young and build it all the way up into something? Yeah. Um, because eventually you're just going to take two guys and put them together anyway. So it kind of just is the nature of how the business is now. And people always kind of assume with tag teams that at some point you guys are going to break up and then you're going to wrestle each other. That really hasn't happened with never. Mosh and Thrasher. Nope. Yeah. Never, never's happened. Nope. Never. He's too stiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, oh wait. I mean, what? Um, what, what in the world? There is no she. Could, no. could it happen one day? Would it happen one day? Um, I mean, again, you never say never, um, but I doubt it. Yeah. I mean, at this point, why? Hey, sure. Ricky and Robert ever separate and wrestle each other? Rock and Roll Express? Yeah. No. I mean, no. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Uh, LOD ever yeah. separate, wrestle each other? Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah or no? Yeah or no? Sorry. Hey, no, <laughs> man. Did you say straight answer? Jeez. No, and yes, I agree with you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Are you guys? Are, do you guys? <laughs> From an old lady. Do you guys do a lot of indie bookings? Uh, when we choose. Okay. Uh, it's we more... get, let's put it this way: we get a lot of calls and a lot of people reaching out to us, but we pick and choose. We're very picky. We're very choosy on what we do. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the time when they hear kind of what we want, they, then you don't hear back from them and you go, okay, they're not legit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So okay. yeah, we're, we're as busy as much as we want to be. Do you guys watch the current WWE product? It honestly depends on who's on. I'll flip it on, yeah, I'll flip yeah. it on and if it's certain people, I'll watch them. If it's not, then I just keep going. Becky Lynch. All day long. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't want to watch all day, Becky? All day, good all job, night Becky. long. All day, all night long, I will watch The Man. The Man. Yeah. That's right. It looks like she's going to be. I would be her woman. <laughs> and, uh, I'd be Harvey. proud to do it. I'll tuck that shit. I'll be proud to do it. <laughs> I will sit when I pee all day long. You do that anyway, don't you? Because I'm tired. Oh, wow. I understand. I get tired. tired. It looks like she's going to be main eventing WrestleMania. What do that's, you think that, of a, a women's awesome. match? I think yeah. that's awesome. And I think they will have a five-star match. I think it will be everything is being built up to be and then some. Because I don't think Becky would let it be anything less. I think she is, is. She's probably the new biggest thing. Wow. She's awesome. I'd watch, like he said, I'd watch her all day long. Well, it's Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda in that match. I mean, they're I, all going to be given 110. percent Charlotte's phenomenal anyway. Mm -hmm. Just you know, she's done it before, so you know she's going to go in there. I think it's going to be a great match. What's your take on the current landscape of tag team wrestling right now with WWE and maybe some other organizations? Is there a landscape? <laughs> Well, they're, you know, they're like... The, the Usos. I mean, the Usos? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're Nakamura and Rusev are a tag team now. Yeah, match made in... I haven't seen it, so I can't comment on it. I don't <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen it either, I to be know. honest. Oh, the, only, the last thing I saw was when um, they brought um, Ricochet hey, and yeah. the other guy up. Yeah. The, and um, they were beating everyone. I'm like, let's, let's bring two guys in and, and just have them beat everyone. The um, and then I turned it off. I haven't really, yeah. honestly, I haven't watched it. It's oh, no, I like Ricochet. Revival, Revival yeah. Still I champs. Like, I like Ricochet. Yeah, yeah. And he was on, so I watched him, and then I turned it off. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, I, don't. I, I, I like the Revival. They're a little bit of taste of, of old school wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Old remind school tag team. Um, the Andersons, yes. Ole and Arn. Absolutely. They remind yep. me of Ole and Arn. 100%. And I like watching them. It, it brings me back to nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. So Since you guys are such a product of the Attitude Era when there was competition happening every single Monday night, what are your thoughts on AEW? Maybe not going head-to-head -head with WWE, but providing at least some sort of competition. Competition is good, and if there's somewhere for everyone to go and work, that's awesome. Actually, it's, actually yeah. it's kind of tremendous. 
Yeah. I'm excited. What I think is so exciting about it is the fact that you're it's excited, that's kind of small. Yeah. Well, you're not showing that, are you? <laughs> showing what? That's what we're saying. There's nothing to Just show. Do the wait. I don't little, know. Got a tiny <laughs> it's still two months away, and everyone's you know. What, what's oh okay? Look, isn't, yeah. it all the same, isn't it all the same guys that ran the big show in Chicago? Yeah. It is, yeah. yes. So they and they sold that place out. Yeah. See, that's the great part about the internet now is all of these other guys. Like I often think, like what we would have done with the besides end up in jail if we had internet back then. Um, but yeah, the like the this. internet and YouTube <laughs> and everything keeps everyone alive. It's getting everyone more notice without having to go to WWE. Like for us, we had to go to WWE to make money and to do something. They don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. So no, I think it's awesome that there's this other opportunity. And yeah. I think the nucleus that they have. With I guess with Cody and the Young Bucks and everything else. Did you say nucleus? Nucleus. <laughs> nucleus. You had it right. You had it right. The I did. I was okay. complimenting you on that big word. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I think that the the stable, the the heads of of AEW is is phenomenal. I mean, look at Cody's background. Look at the the Young Bucks background. I yeah. think they're they're going to be successful. And I think you know why do you like Pepsi? Because <laughs> you don't like Coke. Mm -hmm. So why do you like AEW? Because you don't like WWE. Mm. Why did you like WCW? Because you didn't like WWE. There Why did you like WWE? Because you didn't like WCW. Yeah. Your goatee in person is so impressive. Thank you. How long does it take you to shave it like Ten that? Minutes. It's That's been it? 26 years. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever like, you I know, haven't. sneeze and like, oh no, I ruined it. No. And then if so, I just draw it on like Hogan used to do. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Remember when he had the black beard? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, oh very nice. Yeah, yeah. What was your reaction when they uh, pitched the idea of Beaver Cleavage to you? My reaction was, I'm going to be in the ring. I'm going to be working. I'm going to be getting paid. This is tremendous. But, but what you about the other thing that you liked? I mean, my face and her boobies oh, every day. Yeah, yeah sure. that, was, that, that was. Look, you didn't hear me complain about that. But, I mean, you ran that gimmick for less than two months, is that right? It ran for a month of doing the vignettes and then one match, and that was it. So undefeated. literally it was six weeks. Beaver Cleavage is undefeated, just like the Sisters of Love, That's right. undefeated. Yeah. yeah. But when they approached you with this idea, weren't you like, I mean, great, I'm going to get paid and boobs, and that's awesome. But were you like, that's really, that's kind of, I don't know. I don't think that's going to no, get over. No, because that would have gotten over. That would have gotten over like gold. Um, no, so I was like, this is great. I've never done anything singles. I'm like, a different opportunity. Like, yeah, let's go, let's go for it. And it was, it was Russo's idea? Well, it was all <laughs> the way back to uh, Gerald Briscoe. Okay. Who actually started calling me the Beav. Um, the first time we went overseas, he saw my passport, and my passport picture was from when I was 18. And he goes, you look like Leave it to Beaver. And I went, okay, and that was it. Then I was, from in his eyes, I was Beaver from there on. So it was a combination of just creative, coming up with something to be, to get into more of that sex sells thing. And that's where they're going. They were insinuating I was having sex with my mother. And that's where it was going. And I didn't care. I was working, I was on the road. It was all good. And then, I mean, if the gimmick would have got over and it was getting over, why did they kill it? They killed it because that's right when, unfortunately, Owen had his accident. That's when Sable dropped the sexual harassment lawsuit on Vince, so anything that was sexual or anything that was crossing the line, they killed off immediately. Because you were doing it at the same time that Sean Stasiak was doing the meat gimmick, right? That's when they killed it off, yeah, and then, yeah. um, then I was just doing Chaz right. after that, yes. And then you guys got to be reunited after that? Yes, that's right. You're right. You watch, you check out the internet. Very good job. Hey, I also <laughs> watched. I also watched. <laughs> I grew up on the Attitude Era. Like, that was... Were you, like, 10? No, I was... I was like 16, Watch 17. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I was like 16, 17 when, you know, the screw job happened and everything from there. Well. Yeah. So other than Becky Lynch, who do you guys have your eye on in WWE? Um, it depends. Like the tag, uh, you know, being a tag team, I enjoy watching the tag team. So if they're on, um, I'll, I'll watch the bar. I like them. I love the Usos. I'll watch them. Um, it just depends if the storyline's on. If Shane's on, I'll watch Shane because he's gold. Um, again, it just depends. I don't know. It depends on my mood at that second when I happen to flip over. Yeah, okay. And I'm getting ready for bed. Yeah. And Thrasher, it's just, it's just Becky Lynch for you. No, it, it's the same thing. Like, yeah. it, like the Usos and the Revival and stuff like that. Like, a lot of, like, the tag teams that 
started in together. Like the, the, the bar, I mean, I think are great. They didn't start in together, but they have such a history together. Mm -hmm. um, and we were first with the, the kilts. So yeah, you know, kilt skirts. I think we should have a skirts versus kilt match. Yeah, okay. Just saying. Since you guys are such a, a tag team, like you're, you know, one of those tag teams that, like I was talking about, started from the beginning and still doing this now, do you think that you should be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Uh, uh, wow, it would be a huge honor sure. uh, to be even thought of for that. So, I mean, everybody always, especially this time of the year, it's always, ah, oh, you guys should be in the Hall of Fame, you guys should be in there, and you guys should have been in there, you were a big part of the Attitude Era and everything else. It, it's just... It's an honor to be considered if I don't. You want my answer? Okay. No. <laughs> really? I, I honestly don't think we, yeah, we had a great run. Yeah, we were there for a long time, but we had two title reigns, one with as WWF tag champs and one as NWA world tag champs, but we didn't do that much. I mean, there's there's other teams out there who I think are more deserving than than we are at this point. So, I mean, eventually they're going to run out of people to put in. So, yeah, I mean, eventually. But, um, yeah, we might be 80. The uh, Bushwhackers yeah. never won a title, and they're in the Hall of Fame. Virgil's in the Hall of Fame. Jeez. Well, look, I don't have answers for that. You asked my <laughs> opinion on us. I don't have opinions on, I mean, the Bushwhackers did stuff way before. True. I mean, I mean, we've been around for a long time, and we've done a lot of great stuff, and, you know, People want to question us as far as being, you know, overrated, underrated, or whatever it is. But we are who we are. We do what we do. We yeah. have a good time. And yeah. if they want us in there, great. If they don't, then they're lost. <laughs> there you go. We had a good time here, and somehow I survived this without getting. had a good time. I had a good time here. So, uh, do you know capital, capital of Thailand? Thailand? Bangkok? It's not fun if you know it. <laughs> Jesus so we're going to do it anyway. Ah! <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Back at home now, and uh, man, that interview had everything, didn't it? I mean, we had talk about WWF, talk about WWE, AEW, a visit by some ducks, a little geography lesson there, and man, I am telling you, I am so very happy that I actually do know what the capital of Thailand is, because... Mosh like was full on swinging for my nuts there. Like it, when he did hit, well, he hit my hand and then kind of like grazed, grazed a little sackage maybe. Uh, he hit like hard. So I'm super, super happy that I knew that. And uh, man, major respect to Mosh on that answer about the Hall of Fame. Uh, basically going, hey, do you want to know what I think? No, I don't think we should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, major respect to him for kind of Realizing what their place is and was in WWF slash E and going, hey, it was a great run. We had an awesome time and that just that can be it. You know? And that is all it really needs to be. Um, awesome hanging out with those guys. And we spent some time with them before and then afterwards. And they're just a ton of fun, as you saw there. I'd seen the other interviews where they'd spit on interviewers before and I was really hoping that wasn't going to be me. So guys, I did it. I survived without getting spit on. So now we are two weeks away officially from WrestleMania. I will be there uh, in New York City. So uh, if you're gonna be around there, let me know. It'd be awesome to uh, hang out with you, uh, to say what's up. It's always great to hang out with fellow wrestling fans. So I'll be there Thursday until Monday morning. Uh, what shows are you going to? Um, what shows am I going to? I'm actually not, oh, I'm going to WrestleMania. But what other shows am I going to? I don't know. I'm hosting a live stream chat uh, at the Cricket Store uh, on behalf of Cricket with the Usos. So if you have any questions for the Usos, um, please put them below. And while you're doing that, you might as well subscribe too. Smash that subscribe button. That's what people say, isn't it? I can't believe people smash it. You're on your phone. Don't smash your phone. That'd be a stupid idea.